Hello, welcome back. In this video, I'll be showing you how to implement inherited widgets in Flutter. So let's start. You may have seen something like this in some of the applications, Flutter applications, right? The theme dot of context. So you can access any of the properties in it in any part of your applications, right? So we are so that means theme is an inherited widget that can be accessed anywhere in a, in your application. So today we are going to create a similar kind of widget. So we will be passing in a user uh, from widget to widget. It means you can access user from anywhere in your application. So let's start and uh, I'll be demonstrating a scenario. Let's say you have a lot of widgets in your applications. Those are your screens and you have to pass the data from one widget to another. You, you can pass that using uh, construct space, right? So I have a one widget added and, and I want to pass data from the last widget to the first widget. Okay, you can pass it through constructors, but if your application is complex, then the whole process is going to be complex, right? So how do we solve this? So inherited widgets uh, comes to the rescue. And the way you, you can do it is you can add inherited widgets widget as a root of your application and you can pass data or access data from the inherited widget state like as you see in the diagram so as usual i'll be starting with an empty template uh, with just a column and some of its properties so in this demo we will have two screens one is a home screen and an another one is a form screen with a text field when some when the user enters some text in the form text field and hit save it will be carried back to the home screen so let's add some so this is a home screen and i'm going to add a text and a sized box to give some spacing and i will be adding another button raised button which is which will take a child and i'm going to say add name and on press of the button uh, we will write a function open form which will open the form which will take uh, the build context as parameter I'm just gonna comment it there okay now let's create another file I'm going to name it my form dot dot and and I'm gonna copy the whole home and paste it there and, and I will be renaming it to the form screen and form screen state and I'm going to wrap the whole container with a form widget which will take a child I'm going to add some padding to the form a 20 padding and child let's copy the whole container and give it as a child to the padding okay okay so let's add some text form field which will take a keyboard type input type as text and decoration input decoration with label text name and a validator if the if the length is zero we are going to show enter name otherwise null and on saved callback i'll be saving that value to a variable name i'm going to declare that variable string name all right so next i'll be adding a button which takes say child and save on press of the button I'm going to write a function validate and save so we will be declaring another variable that will be a form key which is of type global key which takes the form state type and let's copy that form key and give it as a as the key parameter of the form to identify the form so if the form is validated we are going to save the form all right once it is saved, I'm going to pop the screen. Otherwise, we will print an error. Let's go back to the home screen and we'll write the navigator push to open the home screen. So that will be a new material page route. I'm going to make it a full screen dialog and the builder should return. Let's import the form screen. The builder should, uh, should return the new home screen. Let's format it a little bit okay 
and I want to press for the button I'll be calling that form open form let's see in the UI so that's working so our idea is to if someone types something there in the name field and hit save it should be shown in the home screen let's go back to the editor and create another file we I am going to name it user.dart and I'm just for simplicity I'll be giving only name as the member variable and import the user in both files both the home screen and the form okay now I'm going to create another file that is actually I'm going to name it state container and this is actually the inherited widget implementation all right so I'm going to name it state container and it's going to extend the stateful widget that's going to take a child which is a widget <coughs> and a user and let's uh, write a constructor for that which will take the required child and the user and then let's write the state I'm going to name it state container state and extend state with the state container and I'll be declaring a variable user there and let's write the UI I'm going to leave it null for now and let's write another class which is actually the inherited class I'm going to name it inherited state container extends inherited widget okay and that takes a state container we are going to name the variable data and the constructor will take a key with the data and third one is the widget which is a child and close that and call the super and pass the key and the child now you should override a function which is uh, from the inherited widget that should should say update show update should notify let's uh, return it true for now you can have any logic in here to return it true or false now we'll go back to the state container state and rename it rename the sorry remove the null and give the ui as uh, give the widget as inherited state container. So what is wrong there? And we are passing the okay. We have state container state. Okay, let's go back to the state container and create the state that should return the state container state. Let's make it shorthand. So the arrow and remove the return with a new. Okay, so that will return the state. Now we'll write a static. So this is the method that we are going to call from all widgets. So you can name it any way you want. I'm going to name it off to to be same as like theme dot off context. So that will return that should return the data that we want. Okay, so I'm gonna write context dot inherited from widget of exact type. Our type is inherited. Um, state container as that's going to return a widget so you should cast it to as inherited container state container and the return the data all right let's import the state container in the form and I'm going to write go back to a state container I forgot to write the update user function so write the update user function that takes the name at okay if it is null you are going to create a new user with that name remember that the state variables are immutable so you cannot create more than one cannot uh, 
create more than one uh, it cannot create it more than once you can modify it anyway so if it is not null we are going to just modify the name with a new name all right and set the state and I forgot to put curly brackets there and go back to the main dot dot file and change the root of the root of our application with the state container which takes a child and replace it with our home app so inherited widget now became the root of our application and we are going to our form page and get the inherited widget there so that will be state container dot off context off is our state container function okay now container dot update user with the value in the name that user has typed so update use update user should call the uh, that update user function and if it is not there it should update the user user variable and set the state all right and now okay let's uh, go back to the home screen and get the inherited container there i forgot to import the inherited state container i'm going to call a same method here again dot off context so user let's declare the user user variable so user user okay user equal to container dot user okay and if the user is not equal to null uh, we'll be saying a name with the value in curly brackets user dot name else uh, we'll be returning text with uh, no name okay let's run the app so it's it will fail since we change the root widget so i am reloading the app all right let's click the button and enter something there and that is transferred to the home screen now so that's the whole idea so this is a simple example of how to use inherited widgets so this if uh, you have a more level of widgets and if you want to share the data across the application this is the best way to do it but there are other ways also like using redx or block pattern so if you don't want to use other libraries and stuff and you you just want to use what flutter provides so this is the best way to do it hope you enjoy the video if you do please don't forget to subscribe like and share the video thanks for watching bye